Hi everybody, it's Jacqueline, and today I'm coming at you with a Black Friday haul. So I went shopping for Black Friday, I braved the malls, and I always enjoy doing that. I've been doing it for years, and I am very happy with the things that I bought. I love getting good sales, and I like going with my friends. It's interesting every time that I go, because when I leave the stores, I realize just how stressed out I actually am, because you just have to like calm yourself as you enter this environment but so anyways I'll just get started with the video and show you guys what I got so my university was having a big clearance sale on a lot of their products so I ended up buying a few things everything that I bought besides one of these items was 70% off so that was pretty great because <laughs> I don't know if you guys know but university gear can be really expensive so it's really nice when you can have the opportunity to like get it discounted so the first thing that I bought was these sweatpants very basic sweatpants I'm not gonna be able to fit it in the whole thing and the only way that you can tell they're from university is because of the little logo but that's what I got they're very comfortable and very soft so that's one the first thing next I picked up this pink hoodie and I'm so excited about this one. I've been loving pink a lot more lately. It's always been about blue to me. But um, I've just been adoring pink and I think appreciating it a little bit more. So I was very happy to get this pink hoodie. And I've already worn it um, quite a few times. So it's not going to be... I'm not going to stop wearing it anytime soon. So very happy with this. Then, as almost like a gift to myself, I bought this mug, which comes in a really nice box, which <laughs> draws you in right away, but it's a mug and it has like all of the things from like my my city on it. So I'll just show you these pictures. It's very, very cute and I don't know how often I would use it because I see it more as like, um, like a collectible kind of thing just to display. So, but I thought that was really cute, so I got it. So the first place in the mall that we went to, me and my friend Jade, um, we went to Lush and they weren't having any Black Friday sales because they're an ethically sourced company. And so I will show you what I got anyway because I really, really like them. The first item is this spoke, the soap. Can you see it? <laughs> I'm doing the classic YouTuber thing. Anyway, it's a soap and it almost reminds me of Ariana Grande. like. Um, her God is a woman bathtub scene and it smells a lot like um, lavender like that's the key ingredient so it's called the sleepy bar soap if you're looking for it online then I picked up a massage bar and I really really like it it's very perfumey but I think it would be really nice and it's the one that has like the speckles in it so and I had to buy the tin, of course, because if you hold it for too long, it's just going to melt. And, oh, I love that. Then, we made a stop at American Eagle. And American Eagle is one of my favorite places to go on Black Friday because they always have, like, such comfy things that I'm not really, I'm not normally willing to pay full price for their items. Because, um, like, yeah, I'm just not willing to pay full price for their items, so... On Black Friday I really take advantage on the things that they sell and so I will get into what I bought All right, so my camera died I'm gonna keep going where I left off I'm now using my phone but um, let's see where did I put it to there okay so at American Eagle I bought three different bralettes there's the red one a navy blue one and a light blue one and I just thought it would be super useful because they're very comfortable, very soft. This is um, this is from the airy part of American Eagle, um, and I thought it'd be really good to wear under nice sweaters in the winter because, you know, all about the comfort, especially while you're trying to study. So, yes, I've got them in the navy, which blends into my shirt a little bit, but the navy, the red, which I just showed you, and the blue one, which is probably my favorite. I love this color. So, moving on. All right, so what I also got was this mint colored ribbed long sleeve v-neck t-shirt. What a mouthful. <laughs> so anyway, I got this and it's so 
soft. This is probably like the equivalent of if you pet, I don't know, what I think about when I hold this is the one time I got to pet a chinchilla and it's obviously not fur, but the level of softness just reminds me of that and it's so comfortable. So I bought this and I cannot wait to wear it. I haven't worn it yet, but it will be worn. Um, last Black Friday, last year, I got a shirt very similar and it had, it was like a burnt orange color and I wear that all the time. So I was very excited to find another one that I liked just as much. So that's so exciting. Then for those of you who know me, you know that I have this like obsession with denim and I've managed to find like denim shoes and shirts and obviously there's jackets and jeans but I thought I'd go even more overboard and buy some denim hair ties or hair scrunchies they're like super small they have a bunch of little designs on them and I think these are so cute I need as much denim as I can possibly get my hands on so yes I'm very excited to add this to my collection and because I spent um, money on all of those things I actually reached a limit um, or I went over a certain point where you get the free blanket. So I got the free fleece blanket that comes with the American Eagle stuff. Um, it's very soft. It's not my favorite pattern. I'm not a big fan of plaid, but it's nice to have this because if you spend the money and then they just say, well, you know, here you go. So it just feels like you got actually like an even better deal for what you got. So. Even though I'm not a huge fan of the pattern, it's going to be really useful since I use blankets on my bed so that I can avoid getting cat fur on my white duvet. So I'm very happy that I managed to get a blanket this year. So after American Eagle, we made a stop at La Senza. And what I will say about La Senza is that I love going there to buy stuff because I can buy anything that they sell in one size and it will fit me. So I know my size and I can buy it and I won't have to try it on and or else like find a different size with every single switching style, which is really nice because I find at all, all kinds of different stores, if you go, and even, even clothing, one size, like if I'm a medium at one store, I might not be a medium in a different store, but this one's really cool. Um, I'm not gonna like show you exactly what I got, but I'll let you know that their whole store was 50% off, which was so exciting because I love things. So what I ended up doing was I just got like a nice um, pink bra and it's I'm very happy with it. So anyways, that's what I got from Los Enza. No point in showing you. You guys don't need to see that. So <laughs> moving on. So the next stop after Los Enza was Sephora. And I didn't find that Sephora's deals were very crazy. <laughs> and I wanted to get the best bag for my buck and I had a gift card that was given to me by my stepmom Kathy and um, I really wanted to use that on some deals but they weren't great deals so anyways I ended up shopping like with the Sephora brand because they seem to have really good stuff for inexpensive prices so I ended up getting three lip products and the first one that I picked out was a rose lip scrub and this is really nice it smells just like roses gonna be used to get that you know that dead skin off it's gonna be great then I picked up some coconut lip balm and coconut is one of my favorite things to own as like a product so as like a skin product basically I really love the smell of coconut and then I bought um, this Sephora lipstick and it's called spring break so this one's called spring break it has a nice view of the beach on there which is cool, and I will swatch it for you. Oh yeah, I love that color. I like all the darker like nudes and stuff. Well, I mean nudes different depending on who you are, but darker nudes that fit my skin tone. I'm, I love them. I'm not much for like bright um, lip colors, it's just not my thing. So very excited to have this one now. And last but not least, I'm gonna count this. Um, I technically didn't buy it, because I joined the Sephora rewards program thing that they have. So I missed my birthday and then the woman who was signing me out said that they would just give me the birthday, um, birthday reward, birthday reward, birthday gift. I don't know. They would give me whatever I missed for my birthday. So I ended up getting um, the Kat Von D pack for free and it's like the powdered 
it's like a powder, the um, tattoo liner, and then these are like lipstick swatches. And I love the tattoo liner. I wanted to get some more yesterday, but I didn't want to spend my whole gift card on just the liner because it wasn't on sale. So I was really excited to have this because now I got a little mini version to keep me going. So anyway, very happy about what ended up happening at Sephora, even though initially it didn't seem like there was many good deals going on. So awesome. We are almost through the haul. There's only a few more things left. There's two more stores. So um, I initially wasn't going to go into this store. This store is called Squish. And, um, but they were handing out samples. And who can say no to samples? So I had tried like these honey gummy bears. And I really, really like honey. I'm one of the people who actually likes eating raw honeycomb if I can have it because it's so dang expensive. But um, yeah, so they were handing that out. And then they told me that they had um, Prosecco gummy bears. And I'd only ever seen it from that like fancy candy shop that I've, I don't know if it's in Canada, maybe it is, but I always wanted to try their champagne gummy bears. So when they told us that it was buy three, you get the fourth one for free, I just kind of went a little crazy and like had some fun. So I'm going to show you what I got. I picked up some sparkling roses and it says Prosecco flavored gummy, gummy candy. So that's what that is. And it looks like this kind of hard to see them in there but it is just little rose candies and each of these bags that I'm going to show you was six dollars so I got the last one for free then I got the wine o'clock gummies and it has white rosé and red wine flavored gummy candy and they come in red pink and white very cute I'm excited to try these I'm a big fan of wine it's probably like one of my favorite things to drink so anyways We have the Prosecco Bears, which is, you know, what drew me into the store. Prosecco flavored gummy candy, and they come in pink and white. I can't wait to share these with people so that they can all like see what it tastes like. Maybe I'll share it with my mom right after this. <laughs> like after this clip, not even the video. Okay, then we have the Honey Mara, I wanna say Marajua, but I don't know, there's a J. It might be Maraju Maracuja, Maracuja. So it just says, honey and passion fruit flavored gummy candy and yeah so it's just a little bee on the front like this and it wasn't overpoweringly honey like you could really tell that it tasted like it but it still had like the balance from the passion fruit that it tasted like a gummy bear still so it was super good I love it so that's the deal that I got and I can't wait to start eating these I saved them just in case I wanted to film this video which I ended up doing so I can't wait and the last store of the day, the last store, was H&M. I didn't really find that they had great sales either, but um, I ended up purchasing something anyway because it was fairly inexpensive, and it was a pair of shoes. So I will get those out. Oh my goodness, I'm so in love with these. <laughs> okay, so it is these black boots. They're kind of leathery, they have the elastic, I'm a huge fan of them. They almost remind me of Bratz shoes. I don't know if, if you guys see that, but like, this is a Bratz shoe to me, and I'm living for it. I'm very, I'm very happy about it. So, these were only forty dollars, which I think is great. I had, I used to have a pair um, exactly like these, and I bought them in the eleventh grade. <laughs> so, um, only like this year I stopped wearing them because the rubber sole was coming off of the front of the shoe and it was so worn down that it actually like hurt and you could feel the, like the floor like through <laughs> the shoe which is not what it's supposed to feel like so when I saw these even though they weren't on sale I thought $40 was probably like a fine price to pay for them and I wore them last night and they're very comfortable so I am very happy I got to replace some of my favorite boots which I wore a ton to school downtown like oh uh, yes like very good conclusion to Black Friday and there we go that's everything that I got on Black Friday things that were on sale things that weren't on sale um I think I'm still going to try to buy some things on Cyber Monday but I don't count that as being part of like the Black Friday and I don't want to wait to get it because it had to be shipped in anyway so I will leave it at that and I really liked filming it. It's fun. I've wanted to do this um, before but I didn't really 
you know, have a YouTube channel. So <laughs> now that I do, I really liked doing it. Maybe I can do more in the future if there's like good sales going on or something. But anyways, um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Anyways, um, yes, thank you for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye.